They called me a madman. When they sent those men in to save the president's daughter, I told everyone that guns would be useless. The ladders, I told them. But no one listened to me. And what I predicted came to pass. All of the other agents died before me, and I was the only one left. But I stuck to my guts, refused the guns they offered me, and went into the village, ladders blazing. They told me the chainsaw guy couldn't be defeated with a ladder. They told me it was impossible. But I've killed him with a door. I've even killed him with a single egg. Sometimes, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. Get off my ladder, whore! Hello friends, my name is Dante, and it's time to push Resident Evil 4 to its limits. I'm gonna throw on my detective gloves, find the nearest friendly Ganado, and interrogate him the good old-fashioned way. WHERE ARE THEY?! WHERE'S RACHEL?! <laughs> ah! So then, can it be done? Can the chainsaw guy in Resident Evil 4 be defeated with only a ladder? Hmm? Let me explain. The answer may surprise you. So there I was, doing another Resident Evil gaming challenge for you guys, when I arrived at the farm with Ashley. This place reeked of death, misery, and despair, and I was getting so freaking sick of hearing Ashley ask if we were there yet. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Yes. Really? No! Oh, for five minutes. Could you not be yourself? FOR FIVE MINUTES! Anyway, since I actually kept getting kidnapped, I decided it was time for me to man up and find a solution to our little dilemma. So I told Ashley to hide in the trash, right where she belonged, and I got straight to work. Now for this challenge I was doing, I wasn't allowed to use my knife and I didn't want to waste a single bullet, but I still wanted all of the little treasures that were scattered around the area without the risk of some jealous boy behind me shanking me in the back. I was at a loss and I was terrified. I climbed the nearest ladder and didn't know what to do or where to go. And when that first Ganado poked his little head over the floorboards at me, I knew what I had to do. I punched him in the face with my foot and as he fell from the ladder, he hit the ground with a loud thud. It was at that moment I realized something. Maybe ladders could actually damage enemies. So long story short, I kicked that ladder down dozens of times, shattered old men's spines and forced poor innocent women to plummet back first into bear traps. And after all of my research and effort, the years of struggle and scientific theory at work, the final Ganado finally got absorbed into the floor and was never seen again. Alright alright, so I quickly found out that regular Ganados could be killed by just the ladder itself. And I had to find out if a chainsaw wielding psycho could suffer the same fate. So again, I told Ashley to hide in the trash and it was now time to test out my final theory. I prayed to God, jumped into the pit, and climbed for my life. I tried to escape to safety, but the horde of pee pee poo poos followed me, and I had no choice but to blow them up. You should have gone for the head. Ah! You know what? No. This isn't enough of a challenge. The mines in the castle is a much better area to test out this theory, the final boss battle. If I'm gonna do this, I might as well go out with a bang. Not only am I gonna kill both chainsaw guys with only a ladder, I'm gonna do it on the hardest difficulty, and I'm gonna murder every single villager too while I'm at it. Besides, I'm definitely not going to be killing any women in this game. You think I want to be called sexist? Pfft, I think not. My soul is pure, and I respect women. Get off my ladder, whore! So I made it to the mine, and I was frigging ready to tussle boys. I dodged the bear traps like a boss, climbed the only ladder in sight, and tricked the dummy chainsaw guys into chasing me out the door. I was like a deer in headlights, and I didn't know where to go, so I climbed the ladder again. Oh! Out of my way! I ran in a circle tempting all of the sad dum-dums to follow me, just as I had predicted. I was absolutely terrified that half of the psychos would try to climb the ladder, as the other half decided to climb the stairs, and I thought I was screwed. But thankfully, all of these special babies are completely retarded. They all waited patiently as a select few tried to flank me from the ladder. That's so freaking adorable! I noticed one of the two chainsaw guys just sitting off to the side, waiting for his turn. Almost like he was devising a plan or something. He was learning from the other's mistakes, making himself better, evolving. Oh wait, never mind, he just didn't see me. The villagers did try to throw their weapons at me every now and then, but failed miserably because I was in a goddamn fortress. Their axes just barely made it to the top window, and Leon didn't look phased by it at all. Leon was such a bully. Every time the villagers almost made it to the top and had the slightest taste of victory, he would sprint forward and completely shatter their spinal cords and their dreams. I even deleted all of my weapons and held an egg to prove that the ladder could be the only possible way I could kill these guys. I guess I could have also used my knife on them, but I mean, I don't need to upload full proof, just try the same thing for yourselves. 
And so here I was, pushing the ladder over and over and over again for what seemed like forever. I slowly killed off the villager population, one ladder push at a time, until finally it was just me and the chainsaw twins left. As I went to finish them off, I couldn't help but notice a single villager with a bright torch sitting in the darkness all by himself. There was something ominous and evil about this man. I couldn't get him out of my head. After some more ladder pushing, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I decided to throw my only egg at him to get his attention. It worked, I got his attention, but amazingly, this man decided not to make the other's mistakes. Instead, he just sat there and watched me. I kept pushing and pushing until eventually, I couldn't hear the sound of a chainsaw anymore. And there they were, lying on the ground lifeless. No! Why do bad things always happen to me? I didn't expect them to die. They didn't deserve this. Come here, you little shit. Ah! I tried desperately to get this man to follow me to the ladder, but he just wouldn't do it. He was a prophet. He was the hero this mine needed, but not the hero it deserved. And as I made one last attempt to coax him into following me up the ladder, the man just ran back to his home and watched me from afar. I think we can all learn something from this man. Whee! So I did it, my children. I killed the chainsaw guy in Resident Evil 4 with only a ladder. Did you do it? Heck yeah, bro. What did it cost? My goddamn ladder! I didn't have a receipt! I know this was a really short video compared to normal, but I promise to get you guys another video out real quick. If you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button as that really helps out my channel. And be sure to subscribe to me if you enjoy gaming challenge videos because I release one to two new videos every single week. Make sure you click the bell icon or else you pretty well aren't subscribed to me. Just make sure to click that bell. Thanks for watching. Check out the other gaming challenge videos on my channel and I'll see you raviolis in my next video.